Thank you. Thank you, Alfred. Just interesting, while Alfred was talking, I, was, I made the comment at the beginning that Israel was formed on the basis of a vote in the UN in 1947. 33 nations, including New Zealand, voted for the formation of Israel. And it's interesting because you could argue that the UN's kind of lost its mandate in the years since, but the basis upon which that vote was taken is still as sound today as it was 70 years ago. And it was about rights, and it was about freedom of expression, and it was about democracy, and it was about the ability to express your view in an open society that we've afforded to our friends here. And it's important to remember that, that we live in a society where all views can be expressed. This view, that view, and a thousand other views of people who aren't able to be here today. Fair? Yep. What I would like to do now is to invite, uh, representing the Indian community, uh, Rui Kalns, here he is, in all his finery. <laughs> Thanks, Rui. Shalom and namaste. I'm actually delighted to be in front of you here, representing the Indian Association of New Zealand. Uh, we want to show our sol solidarity with you on the occasion of your, the 70th anniversary of you becoming a nation or re-establishing yourself as a nation. The ties between Israel and India, they don't go back 70 years. They don't go back 700 years. They go back over 3,000 years. In the book of Esther, there is a mention of India. In the book of Kings, we, we, speak about, we hear about uh, King Solomon his ships coming from Tarshish with gold and silver and apes and peacocks. We believe that that was India. So India had trade relations with Israel 3,000 years ago. Now from... Thank you. So from the first temple to the diaspora in 70 AD to uh, current, present times, Israel and India has had a very strong bond. So in 72 AD, the first diaspora of Jews came to the southern city of Cochin in India and settled down there and they have been, the Jews have been within, in India for 2,000 years. In fact, uh, at the first Jewish Hindu Interfaith Leadership Summit held in New Delhi in February 2007, Rabbi Yona Metzger said that the Jews have lived in India for over 2,000 years and have never been discriminated against. This is something unparalleled in human history. So we have had a strong ties and we are very proud to be in solidarity with you. Now in modern times, in modern times, we have saved, we have faced the same problems that you have faced. We have the same friends and we have the same enemies. So we have the same issues that you have faced. We have the same histories and we have the same aspirations. Well, Israel, can always count on India and on Indian Hindus for their support. Just a few months ago, the Prime Minister of India, Narendra Modi, was in Israel, the very first official visit by an Indian Prime Minister to Israel, and then Benjamin Netanyahu came to India, and that was a very strong bonding. And what we in the Indian diaspora here want to do is to tell you that we are with you. Alfred also spoke about World War I and about the Battle of Beersheba. I would like to also remind you of the Battle of Haifa in September 2018. The first regiment in Haifa was the Indian Regiment, the Regiment of Indian Soldiers. And there is a statue in Haifa, the only place in the world where India's contribution in World War I has been recognized and only Israel has recognized this in Haifa. So we are really grateful to Israel and we want to have this strong bond with you and with our nation and our people. So like you, we too have been facing uh, terrorism and we too have been facing uh, terrorism disguised as freedom fighting. We want to tell you that Israel is the only country which has helped India in times of trouble. And finally, I'd just like to say that, and I would like to read uh, this from a statement from our association. We understand what the Holy Land means we have our own issues with what's known as the Ram Janambhumi issue, which is our Holy Land. We are also fighting for it. So we completely support the right of Israel to choose Jerusalem as its capital. 
Jerusalem was the capital of the kingdom of Israel 3,000 years ago and it should continue to be the capital of the Republic of Israel. And all the stakeholders should continue to recognize the Jewish legitimacy to the land. Thank you.